So I got the 4K razor blade OLED on the table. This is the year of 4K OLED displays hitting the market. Tons of companies are bringing them. Alienware, Dell, Lenovo, the list goes on. But as great as they are, this video is more about whether or not it's the right purchase for you. Now, don't get me wrong, OLED displays, especially 4K ones, are absolutely gorgeous. Like, I remember the first time looking at a 4K OLED display after staring at an LCD panel. My eyes literally had eyegasms. In fact, I had to walk away and have a cigarette because that's how amazing it was to look at. And I don't even smoke. But here's the thing, the 4K OLED display might not be worth it for everybody because at the end of the day, this laptop right here, this is the OLED one, is still a gaming laptop. You have to ask yourself, are you a gamer first, creator second, or are you a creator first, gamer second? If you're a gamer first, you might be a little bit disappointed with this display. You're gonna love the vibrancy of the colors, the deep blacks and the overall brightness, but you're not gonna like the 60 hertz panel on here. We are now accustomed to panels that are 120 and 144 hertz. So those higher refresh rates provide a smoother experience. Even though you're still getting the same frames per second as the regular 144 hertz, Teddy display, it's gonna feel a little bit slower to you because you are used to those higher refresh rates. The other thing to note is that even if you do go 4K OLED, you are moving to a glossier display. This means you're gonna see a lot of reflections in the display compared to your typical matte panel. And if that's gonna bother you, especially if you're outdoors a lot or in a very bright environment, you might find the glossy panel to be a little bit too overbearing. In fact, I had it right beside a MacBook Pro and this display happens to be a little bit more glossier than the display on the MacBook Pro. It just means the coating they're using is not as intense. The other thing is battery life. You think with an OLED display, you'd get better battery life because when colors are dark or black, the pixel is off, which means it's not consuming battery. But here's the thing. There's no middle ground with OLED displays. It's either off or on. So if you have a white color or a white background, that pixel has to shine really high in order to get a white color. And even though it's a white color, it's never as true as white on an IPS panel. Whereas an IPS panel is a little bit more balanced. It doesn't matter if it's black or white, White. I feel like this is a Michael Jackson song. It always uses the same amount of power, which is easy to figure out how much battery life you're going to get. So here's my advice. If you're a content creator first, this display is absolutely gorgeous and you're gonna love this for content creation and more importantly, media consumption, as long as you're willing to put up with a very glossy display. However, if you're a gamer first and everything else second, I honestly think you should stick with the 240 hertz or 144 hertz panel. The higher refresh rates, the matte display are overall more appealing when it comes to gaming. Now, if you're someone buying this for the office, I don't recommend OLED at all. You're gonna be staring at white screens all day, especially if you're doing productivity and the battery life is just gonna take a hit. But for everybody else, OLED is here. I'm glad to finally see it. And I can't wait till we actually get 4K 120 hertz OLED displays. I think that will be very special. Anyways, if you enjoyed the video, hit the like button. If you're new to the channel, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.